In this video, we are going to see how to work with name range, how to create, delete, rename and how to use name range in your worksheet. Let's see those one by one. On the screen, if you see, I have written some dummy data, let's say name, designation, salary and department. So what I do is I have multiple sheets. Every now and then I have to remember the sheet name. So what I can do is I can create a simple shortcut method by which I can name some areas. Let's say for example, if you see here C2 to C6, there are some names written. So what I'll do is I'll select this C2 to C6. Now if you see here in the name box, the, you know, the name is given as C2. What I'll do is I'll try to give some name which is familiar. So what I'll do is I'll select and I'll click on this place and I'll just type any name. It can be your name, my name or anything. So right now I'll type here as name one, press enter. So what is the benefit of this is? So if I'm lost in any other sheet, let's say I'm in this place, in this June sheet, and if I want to go back to C2 to C6 in that sheet, so I don't have to struggle finding that sheet. I can just go to this name range in this name box and you see there's a name one displayed. I'll just click on this name one and my cursor will be dedicated to that place. So you see name one C2 to C6 is selected. So that is one advantage navigating between the workbook within the worksheets. Next is now I've given the name range to one place. What if I want to rename that? I do not want as name one. I want to change it to name two. So how do I do this? This was the shortcut method for creating a name range. Now there's a long cut method for renaming it. So you can go to the formulas and you see there's a name manager. So when I click on the name manager, you'll get a dialog box. Here if you see name one, the values are given and the range is given. What if you want to rename it? So you just click on this edit button and you'll get a dialog box. Now it says the name is name one, the area is name range C2 to C6 and it is within the workbook. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this name one and I'll type here name two and click on OK. So this is name two, change to name two and I'll click on close. Now if you see here, the range is named as name two. So this way you can just rename a name range. Similarly, if you want to create a name range by some other method, I'll go with this option. Now I'll create a name range by long cut method. I'll go to formulas tab and I'll go to name manager. You see there's an option as name new and right now the name is given as manager. The first cell it has taken. So I'll delete that manager and I'll type here designation. And the range is selected as D2 to D6 and I'll click on OK. So but before that, if you see the scope of this range is within the workbook. So if you see there are list of options given. If you want the range name within the workbook or within particular sheet, so you can select the sheet name. Right now I'll not disturb it, I'll just keep it within the workbook and I'll click on OK and I'll click on Close. So you see this area is now henceforth known as designations. So if you click on any cell and if you want to go back to that place, you can just click on this name box and you can click on designation. So you see we have jumped back to the designation place. Now, if you don't like this name range, if you want to delete that, how do you do that? So I'll go back to the name manager. Okay, whichever uh, name range you want to delete, you just select that name range and you can just click on this delete option. It will ask you, are you sure you want to delete the range that is for the designation? I'll say yes, okay. And you can just click on close. So this way you can name, uh, create a new one, rename and you can delete a name range. Let's go for the next one. How do we use it? Yeah. Next is if you want to go for creating name range for multiple columns. Now if you see I have deleted the other one, I'll go and delete the next name manager. I'll delete this name too and click on close. What if I have multiple columns, all the columns I want name range at one time. If there are four columns, by this method I have to go four times to create a name range. I'll give a shortcut method to create name range for four columns. How do I do that? So I'll just, just select the data like this. Remember earlier I didn't select the column heading. That was the column heading name designation salary. But in this method, I'll select all the column headings and all the data. Next is I have to go to the formulas tab and I have to select this option as create from selection. So once I click on create from selection, it will ask me what names you want to give. You want to give as a top row or a left column. But as per my requirement, I want to give as top row. So I'll select this option as top row and I'll click on OK. But make sure 
in the column heading you do not have a space for example you cannot put as salary space today or salary space tomorrow anything so you have to just keep make sure there should not be a space in between the column headings now i'll just click on ok once i click on ok this four columns will have this name as the name range name i'll click on ok so that is done how do i check it i have to go back to the name box and when you click on this option you see there are four lists which are present these are nothing but the names of the range which you have given right now so in this video we have seen how the how to create how to delete rename and use the name range in all the places that's it